Welcome to episode 291, Cyrus Punavala, the vaccine king from India. This is an outline of episode 291. There are three reasons why we study Cyrus Punavala. First, he's the vaccine king of the world. Second, his goal is to produce serum one-tenth the cost of his competitors, thus making serum not just the luxury of rich children. Third, he fought the Indian government and bureaucracy for 25 years until his company was accredited by the World Health Organization. Punavala is most famous for owning hundreds of fancy cars and the most beautiful mansions in India. He is most famous as the founder of the Serum Institute of India. Serum Institute is a proud supplier to almost 50% of the world's requirement when it comes to child welfare. Yes, admittedly that we are the <clears throat> foremost uh, uh, vaccine manufacturer in the developing world and the emerging world. In fact, the, on numbers, we are making uh, pediatric vaccines that are more than all the US companies put together. But only in numbers, in value we are one-tenth of what they make on the vaccines. He was born in 1945 in Pune, India. This is the map of Pune. He is the son of a horse breeder. He graduated from the Briha Maharashtra College of Commerce. In 1966, at the age of 21, he founded Serum Institute of India. The day in which the Villupunala Gold Cup has been uh, run, uh, this week, I must say that the foundation stone was laid by my late wife Vilu immediately the following morning of the marriage which she insisted on doing instead of going on a honeymoon. And she also considered herself to be my Lakshmi. Foundation stone was laid on 66 on the day of my marriage, but uh, in 67, we were quick to start up a very small scale unit at cost of 5 lakhs of rupees to make a tetanus antitoxin serum, which was in short supply of the country. And then we grew step by step. The serum was and is initially made out of uh, horses' plasma, uh, which were the horses that were discarded and being donated by the stud farm business, free of charge to Hapkin Institute. But uh, now, none of our products got anything to do with uh, horse base serum or uh, any other blood uh, uh, connected uh, products. His philosophy and strategy are well aligned. Serum Institute's uh, philosophy was to have uh, a philanthropic approach right from the beginning of making low-cost uh, serum and vaccines. His obstacle or headwind was surprisingly the Indian government. There's been a lot of uh, talk about make in India, a lot of emphasis on improving the ease of doing business, getting Indian companies to expand, getting foreign companies to actually set up in India. What do you make of the government's efforts at this point in time? We've done precious little. We're all waiting uh, anxiously mm. for the government to actually lay down the rules and get on with it. Mm. It would help a lot huge difference. What are the areas of deficiency They've that done you nothing. Believe? They hmm. don't even reply uh, uh, any suggestions to uh, 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 make single window clearances. Hmm. Uh, they haven't made any difference to the bureaucracy uh, loosening up. Hmm. In fact, pharma companies are all like uh, Biocon and all are moving their clinical trials outside India, hmm. which is a huge setback. Hmm. India was known to be a good low-cost clinical trial registration. Mm. For us, it's very important. We are doing trials all over the world. We've even gone to Bangladesh. Mm. And in the, in, because the Indian government uh, health ministry is giving a lot of trouble. Mm. There were two turning points for the Serum Institute of India. Well, I started quite early. As soon as I uh, finished my uh, education, I started working full-time with my father. And uh, that's been now about eight to nine years. The main breakthrough came about in the early 90s when WHO recognition came, the World Health Organization uh, approved our facilities for exports. Okay, so you're the chairman of the group of companies and are they your executive director? Yes, that's right. Um, you know, after uh, uh, studying in the UK, I returned in 2001 
and I joined the company full time. And I always had a passion for what we are doing here, and uh, that grew as. Um, uh, as, as the company grew, where we then started expanding into other markets. Um, uh, my main drive has been to um, try and enter into new markets and develop new vaccines. We've got uh, pneumococcal and rotavirus vaccines coming around the corner. And uh, at the moment, I'm the executive director and the board. And then in the next few years, whenever my dad wishes to take a step back, uh, whenever that might be. Um, I don't see that happening. Very, n n nothing too soon, but... Yeah. Um, um, Why not? If he's uh, in the position of doing so, I, 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 I would take a break. Yeah. And he entered the business at quite an early age, right, your son? Yes. Uh, my wife uh, and I thought that it was the wiser decision to not let him go for his master's. And now, global success with the visit of Bill Gates. Volume vaccine manufacturer in the world. And they're not the biggest in terms of revenue because uh, for almost all of their products, they use a very high volume, low price approach. And yet they do that with very high quality. Dr. Pumal has been at this his whole life and you know the company's grown and and succeeded in taking on big challenges. And so Serum actually ships far more vaccines to the world than it ships in India. It's a big supplier to India as well. But Africa gets a very high percentage of its vaccines from Serum. In 2000, his wife Willu died. Punawala, what was the last year like without Willu around? Well, I really missed her much more than I did you know, it's a tremendous lesson for all those who uh, uh, take their wives for granted. What have I learned today? Two things. It took him 25 years of fighting with the Indian government and bureaucracy before his company was accredited by WHO. Second, his low-cost, high-quality serum strategy has made him king of vaccine in the world, in addition to saving millions of lives for children. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Cyrus Punavala, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.